Hello, I'm Dawn Medici with Oxford Township Parks and Recreation. Oxford Township Parks and Recreation offers a variety of travel options, both day and extended. For all travel information, contact the Parks and Recreation office at 248-628-1720. Let's look at what Colette Travel has to offer for Grease Island Hopper. Hi, my name is Ed McKenna, and I'm here to share with you the Grease Island Hopper Tour that'll be leaving September 1 and returning September 11th next year in 2024 with the Independence Township Community Center and the Oxford Township Parks and Recreation Center. And the price is $56.99 per person, assuming that you're the twin or double, that two of you are in the room. And that includes the air from Detroit. And this has been a very popular tour this year. And I'm really excited about sharing it. So sit back with Colette. And this is the Greece Island Hopper. And you're at everything from the Parthenon, the cliffs of Santorini, the whitewashed alleyways of Mykonos, and the deep blue at GNC. These are all part of the experience here. So you have your first two nights in Athens. Then you're going to take the ferry over to Mykonos for three nights. You're going to stay on that island. Then you're going to ferry over to Santorini for the next three nights and then fly from Santorini back to Athens for your final night and then go home from there. Now, on a scale of one to four, this one is ranked as a level three uh, as far as difficulty goes. And that means that you're able to be standing or walking for anywhere from one to two hours at a time and walking on some uneven terrain. And we also offer the extension into Istanbul, Turkey for a three night extension. And I'll share some information with you about that at the end. All right. So you begin in the capital city of Athens. It's been around for a long time, for over 12,000 years. And you start off with your dinner right there in the Plaka district, which is that area between Athens down below and the Acropolis, which is the hill that overlooks the city, and it's that Plaka district is everything in between there going up the hill. And it's this collection of tavernas and local restaurants and bars and shops and so forth that greet you on the way up. And on top of the Acropolis sits the Parthenon, okay? So that's where we start you off for your welcome dinner. The next morning, we're gonna meet up with the local expert, enjoy a panoramic tour of Athens. And you're going to see the Temple of Zeus, the Royal Palace, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, and the Olympic Stadium. Okay. From there, you're going to, and everyone's going to have be issued your own private whisper headsets so that you can hear everything that the tour manager is sharing with you as you're walking through these iconic sites. So you're going to be walking up and around the Acropolis. Built in the period of, in a matter of four years during the fifth century BC. And just to make you aware, in order to get to the Acropolis, this amazing, iconic archaeological site, you're going to be required to climb about 30 to 40 uneven steps and walking over this uneven, rugged terrain with loose stones and without rallies. So I just want to make you aware of that. But it's worth it once you get there because you're right in the middle of these things you've seen in history books all your life. And you're right there walking around amongst the Parthenon. So from there, you're gonna, the next day, you're going to board your high-speed ferry ride to Mykonos, the whitewashed jewel of the Cyclades Islands. And the ferry ride is about two hours. Um, due to the ferry schedule, um, sometimes you have got to get up very early, sometimes at 4 a.m. So if that's the case, you'll have a box breakfast in place of the regular hotel breakfast. So I just wanna make you aware of that. The other thing is for the ferries, it's a little bit unique in the fact that all Colette tours, we do all the luggage handling for you. Now on the ferries, unfortunately, they do not have a uh, bell service. So you are required to pull your own luggage up and off the ferry. So we wanna make everyone aware of that. So you're gonna enjoy these magnificent views as you cruise across this amazing, a GNC to the island paradise of Mykonos, also known as the Island of Winds. It's home to sandy beaches, 
seaside cafes, which you can see literally it butts up against the, uh, the Mediterranean. They've got street musicians out there. Very lively place in the evenings. And we're gonna take you to Chura, which is the Mykonos' old town, where you discover it's winding narrow alleyways filled with shops and eateries. And we're gonna allow you to have a full day of leisure there so that you're able to discover Mykonos however you wish. And it's also known for these iconic whitewashed windmills and about 25 different beaches. So on that, on that day of leisure, we do offer an excursion that we found people enjoy. It's called the Flavors of Mykonos. It's a full day, about seven and a half hour excursion, $119, but it really touches upon the culinary gems of Mykonos and what makes that place special. It's kind of a local farm to table experience, including you know, a variety of olive trees and the flavors that they produce. And of course, the olive oils, sampling various types, and uh, and then just of course learning all the different types of cheeses and so forth that make the Greek cuisine so special. People enjoy that. So Mykonos, Old Town, there's an area known as Little Venice because of its um, inner connection with the water, and one of the other excursions that we offer is the four-hour uh, tour known as the ancient Delos. Well, it's a half-day excursion to the island of Delos, and it's about a 30-minute boat ride each way, and we found that people really enjoyed this. So um, from there, after three nights in Mykonos, we're going to take, take the ferry over again to Santorini, the fabled island of Santorini. This is where you have the Famous story of the lost legend of Atlantis here. This was a once a round island and had an enormous volcanic explosion said to have been so powerful that it actually exceeded Krakatoa, which was one of the monumental explosions and uh, created this uh, moonlight crescent shaped island. So you're gonna begin your day with a visit to the excavation site of ancient Akrotiri. They also refer to this as the Pompeii of Greece. And it's one of the most significant prehistoric settlements found anywhere in the Eastern Mediterranean. So we're gonna meet up with a local guide and they're gonna take us through and walking amongst this Minoan Pompeii, as they refer to it. From there, we're gonna continue through the fascinating landscape of vineyards, whitewashed chapels, volcanic cliffs, and terraced buildings to the spectacular town of Oya. And it sits up right along the top of the caldera there. You're gonna end your day with a visit to a local winery that sits up perched on this cliff overlooking the Aegean Sea. And you get these famous lines of Santorini. And then you have, of course, the rest of your afternoon at your leisure. One of the reasons you get some of these spectacular sunsets and sunrises is that you get the winds from the Moroccan deserts blowing up here and it gives that same effect that the smoke from the Canadian fires has been blanketing across the state of Michigan where it allows the sunlight to splinter out and you get these spectacular settings as a result. Okay. One of the options we offer is island hopping and a sunset cruise about seven hours, $150, and you're gonna to be touching upon three different islands and people really enjoy this one. So you can prepay these with, at your final payment time. They'll stamp them in your, um, your document booklet. So then when you have that, you're all set. You know what you're doing and you're ready to go. And they've got a reservation for you. So we bid well, farewell to the Greek islands and fly back to Athens for your final overnight stay. And of course your farewell dinner there. So great program. One of the things we offer is the three nights uh, extension over to Istanbul, Turkey. Turkey happens to be located in the continent of Asia. So if you've never been to Asia and you wanna count that off as one of the continents that you visited, this is a great opportunity to do that. But that aside, going to this part of the destination is very exotic, very different than what we're used to. 
And that's when your senses are fully engaged and you're fully aware of your surroundings. And that's when life is at its best. So you go to Istanbul, Turkey's most popular city, and it's considered to be the bridge between the East and the West. And again, it's as I said, it's right there in Asia. So you'll have a local guide take you through. And one of the things we can help you with is taking you to the optional excursion to a Haman Turkish bath, where you'll enjoy an authentic scrub and foam bath. All right. And of course, we're going to pick you up at your respective centers to take you to and from the airport on all of our trips. If you'd like to upgrade to business class, it's an additional $3,790 extra in addition to the price of the tour. And that'll allow you to fully lie down horizontal on the transatlantic flights. The insurance on this trip is $449 per person. That allows you the opportunity to cancel for any reason right up to the day prior to departure whether that be a bad hair day or a volcano erupted in your respective city. And our insurance has been mentioned in the New York Times and the uh, USA Today is one of the most comprehensive in the industry and also one of the most competitively priced. You hope you never need it, but the one time you do, you're really glad you did. I did it every single time for my family members and I, and unfortunately we've had to use it as well. And of course, when you're going outside the country, this is even extra critical because Medicare does not cover you if you get incur medical costs when you're outside the country. So with this insurance, you save the receipts if you do incur medical costs. When you get home, you set up the claim and that helps you. So you do need a passport. We will also enlighten you when you need to uh, grab your visa for Turkey. Okay, that will be obtained through the visa form on the website, which we will supply you as we get closer to the uh, day of departure. But that's right around 30 days prior to your trip when you need that uh, visa to get into Turkey. And that's all done online, okay? So the deposit is $698 per person, plus your insurance is to be paid at the time of deposit of 449, so a total of 1147 per person. We're holding 10 seats for independence. 10 seats for Oxford. Sign up early while you still have the time. You can still cancel all the way up to January 2, 2024 and receive a full refund of your deposit and your insurance. If you're to cancel after January 2, we'll retain the insurance and refund everything else, okay? So you can sign up on the forms that Don and Mary have, or you can put the respective links into your browser or you can use your QR code um, with your camera from your phone. If you're Independence Township, you want to use the top link and the top QR code. And you're with, if you're with Don from Oxford, you want to use the bottom QR code in the bottom. So check those out. Uh, it's a great way to sign up online. It helps uh, facilitate uh, less errors. There's no challenges of reading handwriting and so forth. And that way we can make sure we print your ticket according to what you gave us, which is most critical. And with that, I just want to say thanks for checking out the possibilities. I hope this does work for you. And uh, kudos to you to keep in adventuring your life through the avenue of travel. Thank you, Mary, and thank you, Don. And uh, have a great day, everybody. <laughs>